Pat Farball with St. Francis head football coach Chris Valerio. The Red Flash host their final home game of the 2019 season on Saturday, fans. It's a noon kickoff against Wagner. The team will also honor the five seniors on this year's team, and we'll get to those players and their contributions to the program in just a moment. Last week, it was another Tough loss for St. Francis, traveled to first place Central Connecticut State and led the Blue Devils before falling 38-31 to in another overtime game. It was the third OT loss of the season for the Flash, but it was another outstanding performance against a very talented CCSU team. The Flash offense uh, has just really uh, taken it to another level behind uh, the redshirt sophomore quarterback Jason Brown. Jason's numbers last week, fans, 35 for 52 for 355 yards and three touchdowns. He's now thrown three TDs in the last four games. He's closing in on 2,500 yards on the season, as well as a slew of top five marks and possibly records uh, among flash signal callers in a single season. He has been really, really good, and it seems like uh, – his arrow just keeps pointing up. He he makes he's making better decisions every time out. Yeah, you know, Coach Pacora has done a tremendous job with you know, the development of Jason, and Jason's taken the coaching. And Jason, um, what he's doing is whatever that defense gives us, that, that's what you know he's going with. And that's you know he's learning, he's reading coverages. He's you know each week he's taking a step. He's taking a baby step. He's taking a step. So you know. You know, Jason's development has been—it's been tremendous. It's been a bright spot. Um, his getting, gaining that camaraderie with the receivers and you know knowing where they're going to be. Rashawn Henry stepping up has, has been a, a, a big bright spot for us as well. But Jason has taken on that role. He's embraced the role and, he, and he's doing very well for us. And you know we, we keep challenging him week in and week out. It's going to be another great challenge for him this week. Uh, another tough, uh, another tough defense we're going to face. Another top ten defense, and uh, so it's going to be another great challenge for him. Uh, Chris, it seems to me as Jason's confidence, uh, reading those defenses, making good decisions. Uh, the receivers are going, uh, are, are just uh, improving week to week, just like their quarterback is. Yeah, they just that camaraderie of knowing where they should be, knowing the coverage, knowing where to sit on coverage. As our guys are getting much better at that, and Jason's seeing it much faster. So that's it's been a, a huge bright spot for us. And in order for us to take that next step, you know, that has to keep improving. But um, I've been very happy with that. Um, you know, Jason, I think. Like you said, he had 355 yards last game against another top-notch defense uh, on the road, which is tough to do. Um, you know, quarter weather. Um, you know, because usually when the quarter weather comes, you got to be able to run the ball, and that's you know that's what they say. So, but uh, th these guys have they're having fun. Um, they push each other. They hold each other accountable. And uh, you know, you need that to develop that uh, that that group. And uh, you know, it, it's exciting right now, but. Uh, you know, they can't lax because they got another great challenge ahead. So the Seahawks enter Saturday's game one and nine, one and four in conference play. They lost 41 to seven fans at Sacred Heart last week. A little bit of a deceiving score, however. They were up seven to nothing uh, at the half against the Pioneers. And then the two games previous, they played Duquesne very tough out in Pittsburgh, lost by just four, 28 24, and then a 27 13 loss to Central Connecticut State at home. So uh, deceiving score from last week, and they've played some good teams in close games in the conference. They have, and, and, and their defense is tremendous. Uh, they're a top-ranked top, top ranked defense. They got they got 50-year guys across the board, very big and strong. Obviously, Cam Gill, uh, one of the best players in the conference. Probably, you know, you'd be watching him possibly on, on Sundays. Um, just very – they have a lot of talent. Very talented group, and they're big up front. Their offensive line's big. They got a, uh, a quarterback that was a transfer in. They got him, he transferred in. He, he, he can beat you with his arm. He can beat you with his legs. Um, they're just a, a very physical uh, football team. And they, you know, they're kind of similar to us. They're just things haven't gone their way. Uh, but you know, they're a good football team. And you know, last week got a little, got away from a little bit. Um, you know, I think there was uh, uh, you know eight turnovers in, in the game. Uh, just something that it, it just got away, and, and games sometimes like that happen. But 
we know Hoss is going to have these guys buzzing. They're going to come in here, uh, you know, into Loretto, ready to go. Uh, you know, we've gone to overtime with this team uh, a couple times. So, uh, but we know he's going to have his team prepared, and, and it's going to be a battle. Let's talk about the seniors, Chris. Uh, five seniors on this year's team fans, Christian Eubanks, Tristan Hunt, Dejon Lee, Nick Granella, and Alex Schreiner. It's a small group, uh, certainly one of the smallest classes in your time here. Uh, but th there's, those are some guys that have really made uh, an impact on this program over the course of their careers. It's a special group. It's a group that uh, came in and, and they were part of that championship team. Um, and so they got a little taste of that. And, uh, you know, they're trying to get that, that, that back. They're trying to get that, that feel back in the program. Uh, but they've been guys that have showed up week in and week out. Uh, every time we've challenged them, they've, they've answered the challenge. Uh, and, and, you know, that, that's tough. You know, you know, as a coach, you love to see it, but it's tough to see that it's coming close to the end. But, uh, you know, we've got two more weeks with these guys, and, uh, you know, we're going to keep challenging these guys. But what they, what they have done for their program, they've made the program better. And, and that, you know, that, that's something that's very positive. So um, each one of them, you know, in their own right ha has made a difference. Um, and uh, it, it's been a pleasure you know, coaching these guys. And all of them are going to be successful after football. All of them are going to graduate on time. And uh, that's what it's all about. So, you know, we're real proud of them seniors.